We've already seen that temperature can affect the solubility of solids and liquids. Another factor that can affect the solubility is pressure. Whereas pressure will not affect the solubility of solids or liquids, pressure does have an impact on the solubility of gases in solution. We can think of an everyday example to illustrate this concept. When you have soft drinks in a bottle, they often have a highly pressurized carbon dioxide above the liquid. When you open the bottle, you release the pressure of the carbon dioxide above the liquid, and you'll see bubbles coming out of this, the liquid, the soft drink. This indicates that if you decrease the pressure of the gas above the liquid, you will also decrease the solubility of that gas. Stated another way, we could say that the solubility of the gas is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas above the liquid. We can take this proportional relationship between the solubility of a gas and the pressure of the gas above a liquid and restate it as a mathematical equation known as Henry's Law. In this equation, S with a G subscript indicates the solubility of the gas in units of molarity. The P with a gas subscript indicates the pressure of the gas above the liquid. The units for the pressure will be in atmospheres. The K with a subscript H is known as the Henry's Law constant and has units of molarity per atmosphere. Henry's Law constants will be dependent on the solute-solvent pair. As indicated in this table, we say that at the same temperature, different gases have different Henry's Law constants in water. The Henry's Law constant is also dependent on temperature, so that for the same gas and solute, for example oxygen and water, there will be a different Henry's Law at different temperatures. Based on your knowledge from a previous video discussing how temperature affects the solubility of a gas, would you expect the Henry's Law constant for oxygen in water at 30 degrees to be greater than 1.3 times to the negative third molarity per atmosphere? Or would it be less than 1.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity per atmosphere? Go ahead and pause this video and see if you could answer this question. Based on what we learned about the solubility of gases as temperature changes, we know that as the temperature increases, gas solubility decreases. Therefore, the Henry's Law constant should be smaller at higher temperatures, which means that the Henry's Law constant for oxygen in water at 30 degrees Celsius should be less than 1.3 times 10 to the negative third molarity per atmosphere. Now that you've been introduced to the pressure effects of solubility, you should be able to describe the relationship between the pressure of a gas above a liquid and the solubility of a gas in that liquid. You should also understand that the pressure does not impact the solubility of solids or liquids in a liquid. Finally, you should be able to use Henry's Law to determine one variable if the other two variables are given.